hi friends welcome back to node.js tutorial last day we discussed about how to serve html pages so simply this was the code and if you just run this simply node index dot js it's actually opening this port and if you just go to the browser and let's use here we are getting a static page so if you just go into the another page simply a b c d or dot html or any page suppose page one dot html then we'll always get the same page right. it's because in a code we are statically using the index dot html now we to dynamic these things how we can dynamic so simply just remove this part i don't need this and here we are using the http modules i need this and there's file system module and also we need the url module so to get data or get any things from url we need to use the url module so let's include first so simply write bear url and require url right so three modules that is std module for creating server file system module for accessing any files and the url module to get access of any url things right so this is my index.html and let's create another uh, that is index2.html okay so let's try with the two files okay uh, this is from uh, index to page and this is from index page so we have two files right now now we need to access the both files dynamically so how can we do this simply we are created server that is http create server is the function and we are listening that server with the port 8080 this is not a default code you can write any things if i want to write or if you want to run your server in different port you can write here it will open that right so we already know the basic things about these things now here we need ul module to fetch the ul and let's parse the requested things right so in the request section basically we are getting all the things which we are requesting from here right so simply just uh, use the ul module simply write bear and let's use a questing or you can use the queue and simply just use the ul which actually i have written here this is the same things i want to access the ul module so simply write ul dot and let's use the ul methods that is parse and simply just right here which i am getting from request dot url right we are getting from here and let's pass is true okay so you already know about these things how we can get this and how to parse the url so we are getting in the queue right now we need to set the file name so simply we will check whether the file name or what is the file name actually and simply use the dot and let's use file name that is sorry uh, the url that is q you can access url with a q and dot path name so we, i want a path name so basically the path name is uh, index.html or index.2.html anything right and now i need to read these things so we are using the file system module so we need to read the things from index.html or index2.html so we'll dynamically read the things from the file right simply just uh, access the file system module so write fs and we'll read so simply write the read file and it will be from the previous variable that is the file name okay so we are already getting from the file name and the next things we need to use the arrow function and we will pass the two things that is the callback function that is first parameter is error and the second parameter i need data right so simply just write a function and let's error and data okay 
and from here inside this method we will write all the things right so error is for error handling so we will discuss on these things later before that let's write the index.html or index2.html let's serve both files so write how we can do this so simply uh, result or response dot right head uh, 200 and I need the content type also simply write content type so simply just write content content type so you need to use inside here the content type and that will be the text slash HTML okay so I already discussed about these things in previous video and the next thing is uh, response dot write what we will basically getting from the data we will actually getting the data from this file name and it's dynamically it is coming through the url right so let's use the data here and last we need to end the response so simply write to return response dot end okay so this is a function so we are getting so now if I just serve this thing so already served so let's close and reserve again and now I want to access the index.html simply just write here index.html and let's enter we are getting this is from index page and this is h4 tag this is paragraph all things we are getting from index.html right now if i want to access the index 2.html we are not getting why so let's see what is the error so if we just go to the terminal we can see the throw new er invalid argument type right so this is the error so let's handle the error so we already said we will discuss on the error so let's handle this so now if there is any error that means we need to write any 404 page simply write res dot write head and simply just use 404 page and here we will use the same things that is the text html and next we will write some things so simply return 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 and response dot end and we can write some things into the end function so simply just write uh, page not found okay so let's rerun this again and node index.js so simply just go here this is the index2.html let's refresh we are getting index2.html page and this is the this is from index2 page and just go here we can see index to page and if i just want to access the index so simply write index dot html and we are getting data from index page now if i just want to get access some random pages that is a random dot html then we are getting page not found and this is something this is page not found right so you can handle the page not found actually so here if i just go here and simply instead of writing something we can directly render any html pages and we can create our custom 404 page also right so this is all about how we can dynamic serve html pages so next day we are going to discuss about the routing system into node.js so hope you will like this video and still if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section right thanks for watching this video have a good day bye